Good evening, dear friends. So, today, we will find out why our back might hurt and why we might lean to one side when one shoulder is higher than the other. So, get comfortable in front of your YouTube devices. We are starting. So, friends, before we start, let's first do this test. Take your phone, go to the mirror, and take a picture of yourself. Then look at the level of your shoulders in the photo, which is higher, which is lower. And you save this photo, and you will take the second photo after we do this exercise. And in the comments, you will write whether there will be a difference between these two photos. Surprisingly, one shoulder will be higher than the other. Do this exercise once, and you'll see how everything changes. You've always been this way. You'll either stay the same or straighten up. You can even post pictures in the comments. We have such a muscle here. It's located right here. Right here, it can cause such a distortion. Normally, it's located right here, marked in black. It's indicated here between the iliac bone and the twelfth rib. This is called the quadratus lumborum muscle. It was first discovered in 1624 by Ivan Kvadratov, Ivan Vasilyevich Kvadratov. It is named the quadratus lumborum muscle in his honor. What is its function? Its function of bending the torso was first discovered. It bends us in this direction. It also participates in turning to one side to the other side. And alternately, if the muscle tenses, it tilts us to one side and the tilt occurs to the other side. And often it happens that one muscle is stronger, the other is weaker. And the balance between the lumbar muscle and the iliolumbar muscle located here in front on the opposite side is very important. And it happens that due to the shortening of the iliolumbar muscle on one side, the quadratus lumbar muscle on the opposite side is stretched, and vice versa. When we have a weak lumbar muscle, let's say, on the left, this quadratus lumbar muscle, it will be tense. Or it happens on one side, this muscle shortens. When it shortens and does not allow the leg to freely go back during the step, the buttocks do not work and the back starts to arch right here. The quadratus lumborum muscle also gets overloaded. In general, there are many reasons why this muscle can be shortened. And this shortening leads to one shoulder becoming higher than the other. This is our torso. The head is located here. Turns out one shoulder is higher than the other. You would think this difference is because the trapezius muscle is tense, because it will feel like it's constantly tense on the side where the shoulder is higher. Many people think, my shoulder is higher because I carry a bag on this shoulder. And they try to put the bag on the other shoulder, but for some reason the other shoulder doesn't get any higher from this. The bag has nothing to do with it. The bag is not to blame for your shoulder being raised. It's simply becoming easier to hang the bag on this shoulder. It's all due to the difference below. That is, because of the difference that develops here between these muscles. See? My right shoulder is lower now because I've tensed the quadratus lumborum muscle here, and on the left, it's stretched out. Now I've tensed the left side, and the left shoulder is lower. If you see such a position in the mirror, the right shoulder is lower, the left one is higher. Here's a quick way to fix it. It exists! And what do we need to do? We need to relax the quadratus lumborum muscle on the side where our shoulder is lower and put strain on the lumbar muscle and quadratus lumborum muscle on the opposite side. Suppose we have this position. The right shoulder is lower than the left. What do we do? We take a rubber band, a universal exercise machine. You can just buy a regular rubber band. It will cost 200 rubles. You can buy a special Bobnovsky exercise machine. It costs at least 6,000. If purchased for 6,000, it will surely be used. If purchased for 200 rubles, it'll be used for two days before losing interest. Generally, we fasten the rubber band at the top like this. We stand next to it. Once again, if our right shoulder is lower, 
Then we stand with our left side here against the wall. And now we pull this rubber band down here. We pulled it. We pull it in such a way that your shoulder touches the door. We pulled it and back. And we make such a movement. We pulled it down, then stood back up. We pulled it down, back again. If, at the moment when you're pulling the rubber band down, this arm is straight, you feel the tension right here, the muscle is stretching on the right side, it means you're doing everything correctly. You're moving in the right direction. And in this way, you do one set, 10 repetitions. You've done 10 repetitions. Rest for 20 seconds. You've done three sets like this. Now for the fourth set, you will do a static tension. You've pulled it down. And in this way, hold this position for 20, 30 seconds. And now look at yourself in the mirror again. And notice that after this exercise, both of your shoulders will be aligned. Just like that, friends. Well, hit the like button, leave comments, engage in sports, help your parents. Until we meet again.